Music. Hope I didn't break anything. <laughs> Music, where are you? Shut it! <laughs> and get me out of here! I'm thirsty! <laughs> Hello, this is Beaver House and Productions. I am the key to your glorious and efficacious host, and welcome back to Rayman 3. These are my co-hosts, Joe Squared, Cubed. Joe Cubed. Cubed. Yeah, I'm here again. Yes. Sorry, last time. And we totally oh, really? didn't. I we totally to didn't melt bike. Third Mario Brother into bone cake and eat him. Oh God, <laughs> I was I was busy. I had a bunch of people over at the time, and then you called, and I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh, well, <laughs> the first day we go back to work, and you have to have a social life. Fuck you, Joe. Oh. Fuck you. Oh. It's okay. okay. You. It's okay. You made delicious bone cake. <laughs> oh yeah. For some for some oh. reason, I feel like we've recorded this before. Oh, I don't don't, know why. don't start, Fishbill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, we had okay, a little, we had a little way, bit of an uh, argument uh, about uh, stuff, and we had to do a second take. But we're okay now. Katawa. Yeah, okay. We all we all celebrate. We celebrated our uh, our compromise over delicious bone cake. Yeah, Liam actually lost an eye in the argument. It's kind of funny, actually. It is a really cool yeah, We baked it into the bone cake. It was delicious. Oh, it was very delicious. And that was my favorite part, really. Yeah, <laughs> Kata Katawa Shoujo was mentioned. It was... It, lives were lost. <laughs> it was, it was uh, dark. Very dark. We found out today that Joe's that Joe is a weeaboo. Yeah, he's a oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. It was one thing. I was just like, oh, I know a person like that. I'll, I'll play this game. One thing leads to... <laughs> One, and Joe, show, like Joe, show the like... show the viewers your waifu. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> Just, trust me, your waifu. Have will you never know my waifu is someone else. No. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, your waifu will never be Kudasu, so don't even try. I just, just want to say that right now. <laughs> my waifu was what? <laughs> never mind. Still, nobody, nobody but me and Josie knows who your waifu is. <laughs> I inv I invaded Poland today. Yay! If you're oh, if wait. you're, if you're wait, Polish, it, then I'm your cut. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't think that's how hostile takeovers work. Actually, have you? If you look at the Weeb invasion of Japan, that's actually very, very similar to how it works. Yeah. Oh God. That's why, that's Joe that's why Hatsune Miku is now the official president of uh, Japan. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> right, so I, no, Hatsune okay, Miku Jonah, is just taken. Samus now. Oh God! Fuck that image, Jonah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, you, are you serious? Did you actually go through the trouble of picking out a waifu? No, I'm not. I, I don't really watch anime, but that's just the only anime yeah, I really I don't like. watch anime either. That's why I told you. It's just a random one thing I did because I was like, well, that's yeah. interesting. It was an interesting concept. So, legit. It wasn't like just some generic stock shit that yeah. I'd be... Yeah. I don't know about Josie and Liam, but the only anime I've really watched are like mainstream ones, like the um, only ones Science I've, Gate. The only ones I've watched are Yu-Gi-Oh! and bo 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 is a masterpiece. It is. It truly is. It's Death uh, Note mainstream. I've seen Death Note. Is that mainstream? Uh, Death yeah. Note's mainstream, yeah. Um, I've also... I, uh, what's that one about the guy and the girl? And the girl is like a person. And, and they're at a school and one of the girls is a ghost. <laughs> Clonad. I've seen Clon I've seen Clonad too. I'm working on Clonad. I think we can all safely say that we've seen some of Pokemon, and that technically counts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. Uh, I guess I guess I've watched quite a bit, but not not like a lot. I don't watch anime very often. Does Digimon and, and Bakugan count as anime? Yes. Yes. Then yes, I've seen I those too. Avatar okay. and Korra do not count, though. I, I actually quite liked Bakugan, even if it was a bit cheesy and totally not rip off of Pokemon, Digimon, etc. Well, okay, okay. You I'm can't favorite. lump Digimon and Pokemon together in the same sentence. Uh, apparent, not, apparently, okay. Beyblade has an anime now. Don't ask me how the fuck that works. Uh, it's always had one. 
Beyblade has had an anime since the early 2000s. I remember watching it as a kid. Well, I never knew about it until like last year. How the hell does it work? Uh, they took, they the took a concept of spinning death tops and turned it into okay, an anime. Let's, let's, that's yeah. like making an anime out of battle bots. Aren't like, Beyblades like, the one like, where you have a? Aren't Beyblades the one where you have a ripcord? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. I love this. Is, okay. Imagine Pokemon, but with the spinning top. So they're alive. Or imagine Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, but with spinning tops. Yeah, they have spirits inside the Beyblade. Oh apparently, my god, can... what the fuck? <laughs> That's the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever <laughs> heard! No, no, you and wanna I... hear something? No, you wanna hear something stupider? You wanna hear something stupider? I interned at a game store once, and I was talking about Madden with one of my coworkers, and he told me that Madden has a storyline, and that it's apparently a love story about a man and his balls, and I haven't <laughs> bothered to look into what that means yet. <laughs> Oh, it, it is actually. John, John Madden had a very good voice acting performance in that game, in my opinion. John, John Madden really loves his balls. Oh, yeah, God. I, I, haven't, I haven't bothered to look up what the hell that actually means yet, so I'm just going to take it literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess it depends on what you mean by literally. So, what exactly? Yeah, do, you, do, you, what, do, you mean, do you mean testicles or do you mean football? Yes. I have no idea! So what exactly happened in this game that, like, wh wh what are these crystals lying around everywhere? In, uh, in, I, wait, in Madden? In Madden. <laughs> no, in this! No, we're in the those, game we're those playing! Those crystals, those crystals are called footballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look at that! I accidentally entered the stupid screenshot mode that the HD version of the game has. Oh yeah, we're playing a game. That, that's incredibly easy to enter and incredibly difficult to get out of because you literally only have to press R1 to get into it. And then it's like a, some kind of button combination or something to get out. I don't know why it took Madden so long to have a screenshot feature. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we should, do, we, should, we should do uh, Madden commentary. Oh my god. Oh god. I, you know, I, I still think we should do Choanichi. <laughs> You know what? If you we're gonna, if we're gonna, you know <laughs> okay. what? If we're gonna be let's playing show and eat, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Liam. Yeah. I don't want to sound offensive. I really don't. But I am not playing that game. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not going to. Play. You're not going to. Play. Liam's gonna play it. No. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Fishbill's gonna play it. I'll Fish play it. Okay. Fish but Fishbill's a uh, dick and won't record it. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, I just have to Liam. Find some free and open back, back. video drivers. Oh my god. Liam, you don't need sad because... source video recorders that are available? <laughs> <laughs> can somebody okay. please Liam. buy me a better computer so I can leave? I want okay, money, Liam. but I have to get it with these people. <laughs> And I have a and I have an eight hundred dollar phone bill to pay off that I signed for somebody else. Yep. Someone, oh, okay. does, does someone who has a bunch of computers, just just throw them at Liam and then kill him because he needs Wait, to die. Wait, so Liam. He um, I didn't mean to use up all your minutes. Sorry. I, <laughs> I oh, for God's sake! Uh, no, no. I'm sure you guys remember. Line. I'm sure you guys remember Ryan. Well, I'm not going to go into a lot of details about the situation, but since it's part of my summer and part of the reason I was on hiatus for so long I may as well explain a little bit of it back in June I signed him a cell phone and then since then it's just been one excuse after another not to pay the bills to the point where every last bill was left unpaid and I now owe eight hundred dollars he's fucked off and I gotta sue him for it you can so, yeah. you're suing him? oh yeah I'm not I'm not holding Are back on this one I'm getting my money back did you, do you think you're actually going to get your money back? I don't know, but I'm certainly sure as hell going to try. It's $800. $800 oh, man, I might add that, that I don't have. Go you know, I've only, I've only got $303 in savings. Jackpot! Hey. Yeah. Oh, Liam, you should just buy 300 lottery tickets. It increases your chances a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> what if he did and he actually won? Then he'd be then that, would be, that would be amazing, would, but it's totally you, not going to happen. Would, no one ever wins lotteries. 
Liam, would you get me something, specifically a better computer? Oh, I would totally pay you all back for all the money that I haven't and still can't pay you. <laughs> just, just buy I, me I haven't a better even asked for any money, just so you just, know. Just, just buy me a better computer so I can make my own videos and quit. Point is, that's the main reason, that's one of the main reasons why I've been on hiatus for so long, because, you know, it's just so much shit going on this summer, and I just can't deal with all of this and that at the same time. Um, okay, what's Liam, the can, you, can you buy me something I from go this website when you get that money? Huh? Can you buy me something from this website when you get that money? Uh, I, I can buy you money with, your mo with my money. Oh my right. god, Jonah! <laughs> Dude! Dude, no, no. What no, website? No, no. What website are you talking about? I gotta no. It's, it's, uh, my yeah, ex, it's... you know, my ex actually bought a dildo from there. Oh I, can't oh. <laughs> oh, I, can't, oh. I can't click on. I can't click on that. Beaver link. House of Productions. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, just so everyone knows, it was Bad Dragon. And for people <laughs> who don't know, that's like furry sex stuff. They're yeah. very, okay. very big. I am gonna bookmark they that. They can be, they can be. They're going to bookmark the furry sex toy <laughs> website. <laughs> yes, why wouldn't I? I am, I am literally wearing cat ears right now. Yay. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. we discussed that. Yeah. <laughs> Jonah's like, at least someone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go on the record saying I don't want Link to buy Miss Lincoln there. One, because that would be highly illegal. Oh, oh I'm because, totally, I'm no. totally going to do it in your name and have it mailed directly to you in your parents' house. In before <laughs> Liam gets uh, 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 get it. Fishbill, what is your father's oh. name so we can put his name on the on the shipping label? Uh, Jackson. <laughs> Got it. Got actually, it. I do. I actually do know his father's name. Okay, what good. Jeff. How do you? Uh, because your PayPal is in his name. Damn it. <laughs> well, small world. My dad's name is Jeff. Huh. And so is Liam's, gonna... and so is Liam's, and Whipple's, and everyone's name is everyone's dad's name is Jeff. Jeff is God now. Yes, oh. Joe. My dad's name is not Jeff. <laughs> is he yes, John? he is. Everyone's name is no. everyone's dad's name is Jeff. Everyone's name is Jeff. Oh, by the way, is it Jeff G E? Is it Jeff J E F F or Jeff G E O J J J J la la la. So, how about this Rayman? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is the game we're playing. Is sort of. Yeah. Novak, is BJ Novak his real name, or is it just innuendo he decided to name himself after? I don't know what you're trying to. Oh, BJ. BJ Novak. Uh, I oh. would do a slow clap, but really, it doesn't deserve a slow clap. Yeah, that was kind of. Uh, I'm sorry. That was kind of. Uh, that was kind of stretching it a bit, Josie. <laughs> Yeah, Josie, you might want to go uh, check your uh, Joker privilege. You know, I, I like how you can electrocute the enemies. Yeah, but it's a pain in the weapon. ass to do because it's almost impossible to t confidently target enemies unless you're already strafing around them. And by that Wait, point, you've already that. charged up a hit and they all die in one hit anyways when yeah, you charge. Yeah, I don't. Really, you're kind of impairing yourself yeah, when Jonah, you actively you try and electrocute. Strafing. You're Does this you're, game uh, feature? Uh, just... Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna answer what you were both trying to ask with the word yes. Does yes. This game feature um, corner corner defense, like as in um, Gears of War. Is this like a Gears of War type game? <laughs> it's Rayman <laughs> it's Three, Earth. Gears of War type game. <laughs> That reminds me of an image I oh, found yeah. online. Yeah. That, that, that reminds me of an image I found online the other day. It was a bootleg Gears of War toy that literally said in the title, Bionicles of War. I'm Ashens not even joking. Ashens has reviewed those, yeah. Are you serious? Wow. I have yeah. to see that sometime. I'll, I'll, I'll link you to it after we're done. You can link it to it in the description. Uh, everyone, just go to subscribe to Ashens. He's like a million times better than we are, and he has a stock pepper sponsorship, so I love him. <laughs> I have to go wow, so something. like, Bionicle of War. Yep, that's literally what the title is. 
Uh, the, uh, Gears, the Gears of War publishers contacted Ashens uh, and asked them for one of those toys so they could sue the company. And they did. Really? Yeah. Why do... Okay, the Gears of War people contacted Ashens and asked them for a toy to sue the company and not yeah. Lego. <laughs> not Lego, who sent us a cease and desist for trying to remake what? one of their old games. Oh, yep. Liam, are you supposed to say that on air? I don't know. I don't, I don't care. It's it's public knowledge now. We got a season. Over well, Mountain Dew Online Game Collector's Edition, we started the Kickstarter for the, the injection molding machine, and Lego sent us a cease and desist. It really didn't do much to us because all we had to do was remove the Lego and Bionicle logos, make our own custom logo, and we're back in business. But we can't really start a Kickstarter yet because, lo and behold, Lego's lawyers never contacted us back when we asked if we could do it or not. Uh, but, yeah, so, um, but yeah, so the Bionicles of War, uh, Gears, the Gears of War publishers have never heard of them, and uh, they didn't have a website or anything, so Ashens was literally the only person they could have contacted about it. Okay. So where where they, do they even sell those? Somewhere um, in English Poundland stores. Anyways, how about that Smash Brothers, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I saw the video of Bowser Jr. Yeah. And and Ganondorf is still clone of Cap Falcon, because why not? And, uh... Shulk is... And Shulk. Dog yeah. hunt so the dog! Dude, oh my, my God. brother is so pumped for the fucking duck hunt dog. He thinks it's so <laughs> stupid it's funny. <laughs> I sincerely it's no doubt stupider that those... than we fit trainer. I sincerely no, they're doubt not that funny. Those, they're um... just in there because of tits. And you know, I sincerely, I sincerely have doubt that, that that those leaks are real. Have you seen because... the videos, no, Fish Bill? The video, no, no, no. The, the video, donut, the videos no. are very convincing. I, I don't think they're real because they they would have balanced the game better than what's appearing in those videos. Uh, I can say actually, since playing it at the E3 events, I can say firsthand that the game really doesn't seem to be any more balanced than that. I hate yeah, to say Jonah, it, but that that's what you're getting. Jonah, I just I I, I refuse to believe that. Jonah, well, take it from me. I played it. What are you this saying, Joe? This is Smash Bros. We should not expect any sort of quality in the balancing or any sort of attempt at all. <laughs> but not but even Sakurai said! Sakurai, Sakurai is full of shit! Sakurai, yes. is, Sakurai is such a huge troll, I have no idea where this person was. For God's sake, if these leaks are to be believed, and judging by the videos, they look very convincing. Dr. Mario has been brought back over Mewtwo. Yeah, that's yes. not true, Liam. Liam, yeah. I said that there were more characters, and uh, apparently this aligns with another leak that was previously stated. It had all the characters that were revealed so far, plus Ridley, Mewtwo, Dixie Kong, uh, Chorus Kids, and all right, all right. Rider. That's how I know that leak's not real because Ridley's not going to be in the game. And I can't really see Dixie Kong because. Well, I guess I can see Dixie Kong because she was in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, but... Dixie Kong would just be a clone of Diddy Kong, though, wouldn't, it, wouldn't she? A clone of Diddy Kong with, like, Rayman hair. Yeah. Um... Dota, your hate on... You, you gotta believe in Ridley! Uh, Look, uh, I honestly, know. though... They'll make I'll Ridley DLC! Jonah, they'll make Ridley DLC charge 50 bucks for him, and he'll still sell a million. Well, what, watching I will the videos... Kill it, Sakurai. Uh, honestly... There are a few things about those videos that I'm not sure about. One, it is extremely convincing, just looking at the videos and the animations, especially for Bowser Jr. I've never seen anything that well done as far as Brawl mods are concerned. So if it is faked, it is an extremely convincing fake, and I would like to support it by downloading it onto my Wii for Brawl. But on the other hand, Bowser Jr. fights at all times in his little mini Koopa clown car, and considering that it's not a f not flying and it's just sort of bouncing along the ground, it looks really awkward, and I'm not certain, you know, that that could be real or not. And yeah. I also noticed looking at the images that were leaked alongside the videos that both <laughs> the player name and the uh, debug info for the 3DS reads ESRB008 or 86 which means that the leaks were presented or at least appear to be presented
by somebody raiding the game at the ESRB, and I can honestly, I can honestly cannot believe that somebody with that good a job on the line would purposely leak videos and images from Super Smash Brothers with their name and title attached to the said images. Did you know that ESRB so either they are, either even... it's an elaborate hoax or this guy yeah. was really really stupid. Did you know the ESRB okay. doesn't no, even review um doesn't doesn't even like play the they game? They don't play games. They just get yeah. a video and it a no, picture. What, what and happens is uh, the... Joe, Joe, what happens yeah? is um the the game developers actually just send them what they think are the most explicit parts of their game and then the yeah. raiders just give it a rating. Yeah, I know. That's what I was gonna say. I got it, but we got a we got the batch of pictures actually. Well, the uh, batch of pictures the batch of pictures has the, has an ESRB title all the all on it, so I don't know. No, 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 not those. A different batch. It shows the most inexplicable parts. Basically, it just shows a bunch of pictures of like crystals, cleavage, and uh, oh yeah, well they're all the same. Uh, I and, looked like, at an image. I, I looked at it. And then it shows. Well, I looked but, at what it. I think well, I looked at an imager gallery that has all of those pictures just clumped in with each other, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. They all came the from the same batch, of, as far as I can tell. The funniest part of this is that of all the people it has here, it has... All of them are like women, except Wario's there with his trophy tag. <laughs> because he's fucked up. <laughs> Wario's so fucked, he needs to be raided by the ER. <laughs> 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 No, I oh, honestly, God. I prefer I prefer Wario back when he wasn't this like how he is now. He, he I like him a lot what? better when he was actually threatening. How is he? Okay, yeah. he was all he's still threatening. They just haven't really given him any games to show that off yet. It's yeah, like the la the last game he had that wasn't a WarioWare game was Wario Land Shake It. And they can't really show off how threatening Wario is in a game where he's the protagonist. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, just not, yes, they can, just not in a game where all where the most violent thing he do, he's doing is violently shaking around bags of money. Okay. Liam, what they need to do is, they should put Wario and Waluigi in one of those Mario and Luigi RPGs. Yeah, they, they should do, all do the that. Do, and they do all the moves you do, right? Like, all the special things. And they could screw up as, like, just like you do. Well, so, I like, was whenever gonna... you learn, like, a new bro's technique, you have to fight them and they use that bro's technique, too. Uh, I think they so should have, like, a... Idea. I think they should have, like, a really, you know, like, sloppy but overpowered version of those attacks not the exact same but like Wario and Waluigi are supposed to be evil clo or evil e the evil twin trope oh. of Mario and Luigi so their move sets should reflect that yeah that's what I mean exactly. but on, on the other that hand I can't see them really doing that making them be very threatening because as much as I like what they did to Bowser in Bowser's Inside Story, admittedly that's not what Bowser was supposed to be. Bowser was actually at one point threatening. Uh -huh. <laughs> at one point, you don't believe it now. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics in yeah. this game are beautiful. Yeah, they are. This uh, this game looked really good for uh, for its time. Oh that's yeah, this game looks this game looks great. Yeah. Honestly. I kind of prefer new Bowser. I've been thinking about it since our last video, and I think a funny Bowser is more interesting as a character than a threatening yeah, Bowser. Yeah, well, he he well, he's he doesn't fall into the stereotypical villain trope where he's overly threatening and overly confident. He's he's a bumbling idiot, and they just work with that. I know, but, but he like, can still do uh, bad stuff. I think it, yeah, it it fits with the. I think it fits with the Mario games' tone because they're supposed to be cartoony and family, yeah. you know, supposedly family friendly and stuff. So having a comical villain that you can actually like it's all is in a the, good idea. Especially in Dream Team, it's uh, pretty good. And because you're, Bowser's Inside Story and Dream Team, because Bowser isn't the big bad in that game, and they know it. So when you have Bowser acting all tough and shit, and then you have somebody like Fawful or Antasma that's actually legitimately threatening come in, it makes some really good contrast. Oh yeah, it did does. You play, uh, did you play uh, Superstar Saga? 
I I have a long time ago. I never beat it legit, but I've been working on it. Oh, uh, Superstar Saga. Okay, is you need to beat that game. I really love that game. I, I, I did beat it. Yeah. I did beat yeah, it. Okay. I I still have to beat. Um, I still have to try and legit beat Partners in Time too. But Partners, Partners in Time, time is, is broken hard. as fuck. Par Partner in Time yeah. is amazing. Also, in my, in my opinion, I didn't say it was bad. I just it's like. There's something weird about the, the difficulty scaling near the end of the game. It's just like, the last boss I found had way too much health. Mm. What yeah, was. I, I, I can understand. Oh, the Bowser boss where you have to, like, do the things with him? Oh, dude, I... that was my favorite part! Do you remember Bowser and Bowser Jr.'s boss fight? In yeah. That, I mean, oh. Bowser and Ape Bowser's boss fight in part Yeah, where you have to, like, indirectly that... fight him? And do you remember how? Okay, Bowser, maybe Bowser is on Bowser's back, just like Mario has Baby Mario on his back. I uh, thought that was super well done. That was like my favorite boss in the game because it was just like, man, I wish that's how War, that's how I think Warrior and Waluigi should be. They should mirror what you do. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm just gonna say right now, I don't like the uh, the representation of Baby Bowser in Bow in uh, Partners in Time, just because. It was told. It was just Bowser Jr. They didn't do yeah. anything to his sprite to separate him from Bowser Jr. And they even used the same sound effects as Bowser Jr. Uh huh. So like, yeah. uh, you know, like differentiate the two. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Bowser Jr. in the first place. They should have just made one of the Koopalings Bowser Jr. Preferably like Morton or something. But I, I don't know why they did. Because they felt as if they put one Koopaling, they're gonna want to have to. Put, they're gonna have to put them all in. At least that's how I assumed they would have felt about yeah, the but, issue. Yeah, but but more. But in all of the games, I think I think Morton, the oldest one. I don't remember who the Ludwig. Ludwig was always his his right hand man though. So it, it makes sense. You know what I love? Technically, Mario Kart 8 is the first game that the Koopalings were in in full 3D. <laughs> that's another thing I was gonna mention. In in a pop in Superstar Sega, right? Yeah. The Koopalings hadn't appeared in a game for freaking 11 years when that game came out. When I played that game for the first time, I got super pumped because I was like, "Man, look, they're here!" <laughs> <sighs> and now ne the, next time, have, next time we get a new. And now they're just. And now they're just spammed out the ass. So yeah, that, next time, careful. next time we get a new <laughs> Super Mario Brothers game, people are never gonna want to see them again. <laughs> I thought it was yeah. so cool when they were in New Super Mario Brothers Wii, and now yeah. I'm just indifferent to them all. Uh huh. This game looks really good. I, honestly, I'm surprised the graphics are this good. For, uh, I rage quit. Uh, I rage quit this boss when I first played it, just because at the time, I didn't know how to. First of all, as you can see there, that rocket power up runs out very quickly, and it's very difficult to maneuver it to the boss. Yeah, this there. boss is annoying. And then when, at the same time. This was before I knew that you could invert the controls of the rocket. You have to imagine that horizontally, when you push right, the rocket moves left. When you push left, the rocket moves right. And that is incredibly disorienting, and that's the default control scheme. And yeah. that, I first played this boss before I knew how to invert the controls like that. And I just took it up the ass from this guy. But then when you got to the, when I got to the second phase of the boss, which you'll see very shortly after I kick his ass here, it was yep. so satisfying. We will see it. <laughs> we will see it soon. Yeah. Soon. <laughs> you will rage. Yep. <laughs> Soon. Oh god. <laughs> this is gonna be so confusing for the audience, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Nothing, you'll find out soon enough. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, th this part of the boss fight was the most satisfying thing ever when I first got to it. Cause now this happens and it was, it, I, I'm sorry, it's just great. <laughs> yeah! It, yeah, I can totally see it, it looks great. What? <laughs> no, no, it looks great. My video stopped working, hasn't it? It's yeah! Been, yeah. It's down for about 10 minutes now. Why the hell yeah. didn't you say something? <laughs> we were trying <laughs> to! We were I trying to! There wouldn't be that much longer left, but, um, there wouldn't be <laughs> we much were trying. longer left. Please, just keep this as a blooper reel if you're gonna re-record. Just... Um, 
All right, it's an we're, we're we're recording again. We work for Screw Attack, people. So this oh, is God. so this is a boss. Then I think you all know from yeah. my saying things about it. With the thing. these mighty. are some nice graphics. <laughs> the mighty moose. <laughs> Joe, well, that reminds me, Joe. You you actually knew what I was talking about when I, even though you couldn't see the video. Because yeah, I know I you said this boss was annoying. I already beat this game. I hate this boss. He's actually yeah. probably the most, the second most annoying boss in this game. I, I had no tr no problems with it this time around because, as I mentioned, you know I've got the controls for the freaking rocket worked out. But the first well, few times I did it, it was just horrible. Dude, so I hate it because he walks around like a dick. Yeah. You have to hit the while he's swaying around. And you have to aim the shitty rocket. Uh, I do <laughs> like the section where you take control of him, though. That was just oh, so yeah. satisfying. Are there? Is there an overarching storyline to Rayman? Uh, no. The games may have very loose continuity between them, but nothing I mean, that's ever really referenced. Yeah. I mean, kind of like Kirby's um, Kirby's yeah. canon with Zero being the villain and all that. I'm just wondering if there's a. Uh, uh, well, Mr. Dark is brought up numerous times. Yeah, because we all know... Some of the villains him. never reappear because uh, either he kills them or deals with them in some way. Okay, here's... Te here. te te technically, there are, there are recurring characters, like uh, recurring side characters, like the Magician and Bertil and Fairy. Okay, and here's... Uh, and I know, and the, they do directly reference at least the first game in Rayman Origins, because, you know, spoilers, the magician turns out to be, like, a Mr. Dark fanboy. Okay, here's an idea for an overarching plot arc in Rayman. Rayman and the quest to find his arms! Oh my god. I've actually oh, been so duck. fucked if he had limbs. Oddly enough, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life, but Rayman would actually be more messed up if he had Lynn. Well, as I mentioned in the previous episode, the, the only reason he doesn't is because of a graphical error in the first game preventing them from being rendered. There is actually concept art and a fully fledged, uh, fully, fully uh, drawn sprite of Rayman from the first game with his limbs intact. Really? So it's kind of like how... Um... Kirby had to be the way he looks because that's a dude. myth. That's a myth. Kirby. It it's also a myth. There are a lot of myths about Kirby. The fact that he was named after a vacuum cleaner company. The flat. The, the fact that he was just a standard blob sprite for testing. It's all just yeah, a myth. It's all just a myth, and nobody's ever actually confirmed any of that either way. And now that um, we know, and now that we know how big a troll Sakurai is, he probably he probably put all these out online himself. <laughs> probably you know, spreads all of these contradicting rumors himself because he's a huge troll. Do you think the Japanese gaming community sees Sakurai as much of a troll as the Western one does? No idea. Probably not. So, okay, what I read once, right, was that apparently the Japanese po uh, Japanese forum thought that, that Ridley and Mewtwo not being confirmed was hilarious because, quote unquote, only the West wants it. And you know, whenever I hear something like only the West wants something, I think about... What does that mean exactly? You're telling me that you think your your tiny island nation is so important that they should cater exclusively to you than the rest of the entire planet. Well, they and are we're the, the well, and we're the arrogant ones here. Well, exactly. Super Smash, well, Nintendo is based on their tiny island nation. So here's the thing: they don't here's make the, thing. the most money from that tiny island nation, so it shouldn't matter. They should Why be catering what? towards the people that make them the most money. Let's call I, Japan. I, let's call Japan the tiny island nation from now on. <laughs> I have a question about J Japan because Joe, you seem kind of you seem kind of knowledgeable about it, considering you're a huge weeb. Um, <laughs> I'm not a weeb. I don't like. <laughs> what does the Japanese gaming community think of the West? Think of the uh, Anglo Anglosphere gaming community. I have no idea. You don't? <laughs> because you no. know, Joe is totally from Japan. I know, you just seem from what I gather, From what I gather, they either think that we focus too much on uh, graphics, or not we enough do. on story, too we much do. on... Uh, I think the best, I think, honestly, the best uh, tell for uh, what the Japanese and the uh, American markets think of each other we is, the way Kirby, is the way Kirby is represented on its box art. <laughs> There is, well, okay. I don't think, that there is maybe one Kirby game in existence that does not have 
a Western version with an angry face. Yeah, the the U.S. box art for Kirby's Epic Yarn was originally going to have bazookas on it, bazookas and realistically render tanks on it, but they decided that was probably a little too much. Okay. You know, in the original Kirby, they were going to have a lot of gore and blood, like a switch for the Western audiences. But oh, you mean like it. in Kirby's Dreamland Three? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so Jonah, now that I think about it. I remember reading this interview with two Japanese creators, uh, Kaiji Inafune and someone else. Then the point is Kaiji Inafune doesn't like the Japanese gamer or the market or the way they do games. He thinks that the Western way they do games, like the way Western games are made and how they're designed, is better. Because they mean? have more choice and more innovation. Because yeah, apparently, Japanese games like to stick around doing the same kind of thing over and over again because apparently Japanese people don't like change and they don't like choices. So they don't get the ability to save whenever they want or go wherever they want to go. And that's why things yeah. like Legend of Zelda were dying and why they made Skyward Sword as linear as they did, gave it save points, made it very linear, to try and appeal to the Jap... It made the story more in-depth to try and appeal to the Japanese gamer. But it just ended up making what I consider the worst Zelda game ever made. Yeah, l I mean, look at um, look at the two markets compared to each other right now. Ever, all the innovation is coming from essentially the American and the European um, indie gaming communities. And yeah, there's not a majority from what I've seen of Japanese indie games is <coughs> almost all RPG Maker, and that's just basically Dragon Quest clones. Hey, look, yeah. we're having another acid trip again. Oh, cool! I love these. Speaking, I love speaking these. of, speaking, I love the speaking, <laughs> speaking of drugs, we should play LSD on this on this uh, channel one of these days. You've been saying that, and we should. But I don't yeah, know we if we're should. ever going to get around to it because you know we've got Joe's Weeboo fantasy game, and we've got uh, Cho and Ichi. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. That. No, dude. And we, we, we still we still need to finish the All Stars pack. <laughs> Trust me, you play as a real character. Your character has a fucking shit ton of All right, Joe, on a, on a scale of uh, my anime list to slash A slash, how big of a weeb do you think you are? <laughs> yeah, which one's the higher? Which one's higher? <laughs> All right, you're, you're safe. <laughs> you answered his question. <laughs> I have a my anime list, but only because my friend made one. And I was like, well, I've never actually thought or compiled of this because, you know, it's not video games, so I don't keep track of how many... I only keep track of how many video games I've beat. Joe, so, I bet you lie. I bet you sleep with a waifu body pillow. Wait, oh, God, everyone, oh, no, everyone in this call doesn't do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Leo would have a husband, though, but besides that... That shit's disgusting, man. Legit. <laughs> I hate... I just think I, it's disgusting. I, I just Sleeping don't see the point of it. I, th I just think it's a little weird. I it's a little in a creepy, cat don't you think? It's illusional a little bit. I sleep, little a, I sleep in a cat bed. Yeah, yeah, that's, meow, a, that's, meow. A, that's a good question, Joe. If you're being delusional consciously, if you're choosing to be delusional about something, does that make you delusional about it? Oh, that if is I true. Uh, I guess we have to look up the definition of the word delusional. If I choose to have my wife leave, it's real, even if it's not, right? If I believe that Asuka Langley actually oh, loves fuck. me, exists in real life, and I fuck. choose to believe that, does that make me delusional? Yes, honestly, it does. Because fictional character doesn't know who you are. <laughs> what if I choose to be delusional about it, though? <laughs> but you know, it. Well, this is another thing, like, I've had this argument a bunch of times. That was failure. No, I was- yeah. I got confused about what rail I wanted to go on to, and I just that, sort of went between them. That was no, space No, Liam, stop it. trying to pretend you're good at this game. <laughs> what were you saying, Joe? Hey, I certainly did better than the okay. last time. No, okay. you didn't. Like, Joe, what were you saying? Okay, so, this is going back to my argument I've had with a few people a bunch of times, is, can opinions be wrong? And the yes. answer, undoubtedly, is yes, but people try to argue against it. Like, for example, if, I have the if I'm of the opinion that 
the sky is made of cheese. I am wrong. The sky is not made of cheese, no matter how much I want it to be made of cheese. Well, and no, you know, no, no, that's not an opinion, though. Opinions can't, by definition, can't be wrong. But fa but there's only one fact, and the sky being yeah. blue or made of cheese is a fact, not an opinion. Yes, I know. But people try to confuse it and tell me, like I tell them something, like, uh, let's just say. Yeah, we'll like, see you in the next episode, guys. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. the duck!